We are beginning with breaking news. This is in connection to the Homestead woman who was kidnapped at gunpoint and believed to have been found dead inside a burned out vehicle in Central Florida last week. There are two big developments, including an arrest made in the case. Let's get right to CBS News Miami's Jim Barry in the newsroom with what we're learning. Jim? Guys, the Seminole County Sheriff says that an Orange County deputy is under arrest in the kidnapping and suspected murder of Catherine Altagracia Guerrero de Aguas Vivas. The sheriff says the deputy and his wife are friends with Aguas Vivas' husband. This connection and their couple's correspondence with the husband were discovered when Guerrero de Aguas Vivas' husband turned over his phone to investigators. The deputy, Francisco Estrella, is accused of lying that he was a detective on the case to get information. Estrella and his wife are also accused of illegally accessing a database with the addresses and photos of the real detectives working on the case. Estrella now is facing five felonies. He appeared in court and is claiming law enforcement exemption. Now, the second update is that the green 2002 Acura seen in Aguas Vivas kidnapping has been found. It was abandoned at an Orange County apartment complex. As the sheriff county a sheriff explains, that car is tied to another murder the day before Aguas Vivas suspected death after it was towed the first time nearly a month ago. The tow truck driver of that uh, particular tow of this vehicle was a murder victim in Orange County that happened one day before our kidnapping murder. April 10th, a tow truck driver was murdered in Orange County. Uh, at that scene, a green vehicle matching the description of this green vehicle uh, was located. And there was more than 100 rounds fired at that location. Now, investigators are looking for the shooters. The Seminole County Sheriff said Aguas Viva's husband has been cooperative in the investigation into her kidnapping and suspected murder. He is not currently a person of interest in the case, but the sheriff says that could change. Live in the newsroom, I'm Jim Barry, CBS News, Miami.